we have movies from mechanistic four scale simulations in the hemisphere and cell collector under favorable conditions on the left and under unfavorable conditions with nanoscale heterogeneity shown as green dots on the right. The forward flow stagnation zones are on the fronts of the grains facing you. Colloid color changes with separation distance with yellow corresponding to distances greater than 200 nanometers in the bulk fluid, magenta corresponding to separation distances less than 200 nanometers in the near surface fluid, and blue corresponding to contact, less than a few nanometers. The simulations produce experimentally observed pore scale behavior shown in figure 16. On the left, colloids that enter the near surface fluid move quickly from yellow to blue, spending little time in the near surface fluid while transitioning from bulk fluid to contact and arrest. On the right, colloids that enter the near surface fluid stay there for a long time in magenta, caught between van der Waals attraction and the repulsive barrier. To come into contact, the colloid must translate over a location where header domains occupy basically the majority of the ZOI and locally eliminate the repulsive barrier. The colloid can then diffuse into contact and arrest, with some colloids taking quite a long time to get there.